Today I'd like to show you how to create a graph where you have two y-axes. The example data I'm going to use is monthly climate data, and I have both temperature as well as precipitation data that I'd like to display on this one graph. For this example, I requested some data from the National Centers for Environmental Information, and I asked specifically for climate data for the meteorological stations that were within or near my particular zip code. And here's the data that I got back, which again includes both temperature and precipitation data. And I'm going to go ahead and just highlight, I did Command A to select all of the data. Now I'm going to do Command C to copy, and we'll go ahead and go into a new data graph file, and I'm just going to paste this data right into here, Command V. You can see all the data has now been imported, and the titles of each of these columns have been added automatically. The one thing that you'll notice is that the uh, data for station and name show up red here. That's because it just pasted this on top of the existing X and Y columns that are in any new uh, file that you create in Datagraph. And to uh, have these shown as text, you can just uh, right click on the name of the column and just select convert to text. It's no longer red, showing that Datagraph is correctly understanding the data. Do the same thing here with the name of the station. And you'll also see this little AB symbol indicating that it's a text column. Uh, the next column here is a date column, which is currently being interpreted as a numeric column. And uh, one way to tell is, again, there's no little symbol here showing that it's a date. If I also right click on this, I can tell Datagraph to convert this to a date column. Now it has this little symbol here showing it's a date, and both precipitation and the temperature should be numeric, which they are. So I don't need any to do anything with that data. Now let's start working on our graph. There's one command that's already in this new file, that's a plot command, which is the type of command we want to use, but it's set up to what used to be x and y that are now station and name. I want to go ahead and change the x to be date, and I want to start with plotting the temperature. And what Datagraph is doing is just taking this Y data and plotting it versus the date. And it doesn't inherently know that this date is actually a repeating series where for every station I start with January 1st and then I repeat again the same X value. Uh, that's why you see these lines drawn across the bottom here. And I, I don't want to show that. I only want a single line for each station. To do that, I'm going to open up my command and say connect only if x increases. And now these lines across the bottom have been removed, and I'm just seeing a single line for each station, which is exactly what I would like to see. The next thing I'm going to do is to plot date versus precipitation. And to do that, I can actually just take the existing plot command, click the Option key, and select it and drag it. That creates a clone of the first command. And then I select precipitation from the drop down menu. And the precipitation data has now been added down here into my graph. Now I have all the data being plotted that I would like to be plotted, but they're all on the same axis. To allow for a double axis, as in as what I showed you in the beginning, we're going to go ahead and click split Y up on the axis settings. This creates a second Y axis, and we're going to move the precipitation data to that second axis. Now we have two graphs with two different y-axis, but to put this on the same graph, I have one more step to do, and that is to use the same drop-down menu where I created the split to go ahead and click Join Y. Now I have my graph exactly the way that I uh, want it in terms of the axis having two axis with the temperature on the left-hand side and the precipitation data is uh, the label for that is on the right hand side. Next I'd like to customize how my x-axis is displayed. Specifically here Datagraph by default is showing two lines for the date and if you open up the settings associated with the axis labels then you'll notice here under x tick marks there's a checkbox for use two lines for date axis. I'm going to uncheck that since I just have this one 
uh, one year of data. I also want to restrict my graph here so that it ends at January of 2017. And I can do that by using this restrict box and typing in 2017, the date, colon, the month, and the day. The next thing that I want to do is to customize my y-axis. And I'm going to do that actually using an extra axis command that allows me to also change the units of the data uh, that are being displayed without actually having to change the data itself. Go under Command and Add Extra Axis. I'm going to do this for the y-axis and I'm going to position it on the left-hand side. So this is the axis right now associated with temperature. The units here are showing as the same. I want to convert temperature. So there's actually a special setting just for temperature data and you can state what your data is in and what you'd like it to be displayed in. So I'm changing this now to Celsius. You also need to uncheck the little box on your axis settings at the top so it removes the default uh, axis labels that are drawn. I'm going to go ahead now and also add an axis for my precipitation data. And in this case, what I'm doing is converting and you can actually type in a number of different units that are inherently understood by Datagraph. And my data is here in inches, and I want to display it in, say, precipitation in millimeters. Notice I do need to checkbox uh, the upper axis that's associated with this extra axis, and I also need to say display this on the right-hand side. Now it's showing over up on the right, but again, I need to uncheck the default axis that's drawn. And there we have now both the, the x-axis looks how I'd like, as well as the two y-axis are being shown uh, numerically within the units that I'd like them to be shown in. Now to add labels to our axis, I can do that using the entry boxes up in the axis command. This one's for the temperature. And I can do a backslash and type the word degree to show the degree symbol. That's actually a, a LaTeX command for those of you who are familiar with that. And there we have degree Celsius. And then my label for my secondary y-axis is precipitation. And again, I added this in millimeters. Next, I want to customize my lines in terms of the colors that are shown. And we'll go ahead and make the precipitation data blue, and we'll add a solid point for both of these. And what I'd also like to do is have my precipitation, the numbers that are shown here, also be blue so that it will allow the viewer of the graph to know which units go along with which data. And I can do that by going into my extra axis command and over on the right hand side there's a setting for the color of the axis labels. And I'm going to set that also to the same uh, what's called line color 2. So now they both have the same color. And at any time, if you change your mind about what you'd like this color to be, you can go up into your style sheet at the top of your graph, and line color 2 is defined for that graph itself. And I can click on that color, and as I change the color that's shown up here, notice how it's linked to the axis and the data. Now let me go back to the graphic that I showed you in the beginning just to see what other things I customized here. So for example, I added a title and I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. Notice again this backslash n command uh, or text within the title that allows it to uh, put in two lines within the title itself. And I'm also going to go ahead and I can change the size of my graph. Here I have it set specifically for the, the size that I would like this to be if I export it into another image or another document. So 10 centimeters by 6 centimeters. And I can go ahead and say size specified and say exactly what I want that size to be. 
Now I want to view this at a bit of a larger size here and maybe go ahead and change my font uh, to a different value. Notice also that there's some gaps in between my labels and the actual axis itself. I can go ahead and change that by going into the uh, extra axis command and saying the or changing here the space for y to narrow and I'll do this on both sides of my extra axis command. Now, there's one thing I'd still like to do here in terms of my axis labels. If we go back to the graph that I showed you in the beginning here, the label itself was also shown in blue to help highlight which data belong to which axis. To do that, we are going to add an additional uh, text command. The uh, axis label itself does not have a way to change the color, but the text command allows you to add labels in a variety of different places throughout your graphic and uh, and then you have more options as to how you can customize the text label. So I'm going to say this is a label that's going to be uh, a Y title and it's going to be on the right hand side of my other side again of my graphic on the second axis and I'm going to change the it to be this line color 2 that I have set here so it's consistent with everything else related to precipitation and I'm going to go ahead and I can just cut command X and command V and one more thing here is to align this in the center. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do here is to add a mask so that we'll just show data for one of the meteorological stations, which is the same way that I have the data displayed here on the original graph that I that I started with. And to do that, first I'm going to go ahead and switch the location of my commands and my data. It'll just make it a little bit easier to work with. So now notice this is just me changing the user interface, so now all my commands are shown on the left-hand side. And what I want to do is to add a group to group both of my plot commands. I'm going to highlight both of them, and you can hit this icon on the top right-hand corner to put these within a group. And you'll notice how that on the group itself, there's a setting for a shared mask. And I'm going to mask this on the uh, name of the station, and there's a number of different stations here. So I'll, for example, want to just show the data for the airport. So I can say that the name has to match, and it is case sensitive, so I'm going to just type in air with a couple of wild cards on either side, and sure enough, now I have my data just for that one station. And if you notice how these points here are overlapping, you can go ahead and change the point style for one of these, for example, to an open circle and the color for the inside of the circle to just be no color, and that makes that transparent so you can see through. Here we now have the final image that I wanted to create for you today. And we did this by pasting in our climate data on precipitation and temperature. We created two plot commands in order to display that data. We did both a split on the Y as well as a joining of the Y axis in order to create these two dual axis within our graph. We also then used an extra axis command for both Y axes in order to uh, customize them. And finally, a text command to create the label for the second Y axis to be in the same color as the data and the axis labels. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us at help at visualdatatools.com or any suggestions for videos that you would like to see. We'd be happy to hear from you.